Air rifles can launch high-speed bullets using only wind power. How is that possible? Hello everyone. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will learn about the mechanism inside an air rifle. Although it is called an air rifle, it does not actually use wind as its power. Instead, it uses high pressure in the wind as its thrust. For example, in the following air rifle, we will see two tubes, a small tube and a large tube. This small tube functions as a bullet passageway, so this is where the bullet will come out. Meanwhile, the large tube is used to store high-pressure wind, which will later be used as an energy source to launch the bullet. Behind the two tubes, there is a mechanism that can be said to be quite complicated to produce wind pressure that can be used to launch bullets from the bullet passageway. So, to make it easier to understand, let's disassemble this air rifle into several parts. As I said earlier, this large tube will be filled with high-pressure wind. This wind is usually filled from the nipple located in front of the tube. Meanwhile, the small tube above it functions as a bullet movement path, so the pressure must be normal, aka the same as the external pressure. This means that there is a very high pressure difference between the large and small tubes. To channel the air pressure from the large tube, there is a bypass channel connecting the two tubes so that the air pressure can be regulated when it comes out. We install a valve. This valve functions like a door that regulates when air pressure can come out and when it should be closed. So if this valve is open, air pressure will enter the small tube and push the bullet into the bullet tunnel. Then, what is the mechanism for opening the valve? This valve will open if the iron rod is pressed forward. To press it, there is a component called a piston hammer located behind the high-pressure tube. Behind the piston hammer is a spring that is used to push the piston hammer so that it can press the valve. The movement of the piston hammer is controlled by the trigger mechanism located under the piston hammer. This mechanism consists of three components. The top plate has two hooks. When the piston hammer is pulled back, this hook will lock the piston hammer so that its position is held behind. When we pull the trigger, the top plate will move down, releasing the hook so that the piston hammer can be pushed forward and press the valve. In front of the main valve, there is one more valve namely the regulator valve. The goal is to stabilize the air pressure. The air pressure in this tube varies. Of course, each unit has a different maximum pressure capacity. For example, in this air rifle, it has a working pressure of 2000 PSI. So we only need air with a pressure of 2000 PSI to launch bullets. However, in order for the rifle to be used continuously with maximum power, we need to fill this tube more than 2,000 PSI. Therefore, there is a regulator valve that will separate the pressure in the two chambers, before and after the valve. Thanks to the regulator valve, even though the pressure in the main tube is, for example, 4,000 PSI, the standby pressure remains 2,000 PSI. This makes the bullet ejection power stable. Then, we move on to the bullet mechanism. The bullets in this air rifle are placed one by one manually. The gap you see is used to place the bullets. Next to this is a lever. This lever is connected to the push rod. When we pull the lever, the push rod moves back. Then we put the bullets in. Then we push the lever back to its original position. This will push the push rod so that the bullet can be pushed into the tube. The push rod also has a hook. When this rod moves backward, this hook will pull the hammer piston. So, when we pull the lever, there are two mechanisms that are triggered. First, the bullet is inserted into the sleeve, and second, the hammer piston is pulled back. Once the lever is positioned forward again, we just pull the trigger to shoot. That's an animation of how an air rifle works. Hopefully this can increase our insight 